Hello everyone, thank you for stopping by for another one of our weekly tech videos. I am Nick with Scog and Dickey and today's video is gonna be covering actually kind of an interesting topic, maybe one that doesn't exactly pertain to us, but it is important so please follow along. Now, we know how it is for you guys. You're following this series because we cover a lot of parts You know, when it comes to building your LS engine. Anything from a $500 Junkyard 5.3 that you're just gonna turbo and send it all the way up to a $15 to $20,000 perfect turbo build, kind of like the ones we build in our race shop. We absolutely understand everybody builds to a budget. You'd be surprised to learn that even guys like us at Scock and Dickey, all of us have projects, not just me. Everybody here is something that works that they work on. We do the same thing. There are certain things we know we can't pinch a penny on. We gotta make sure to get a high quality fuel system if we're doing a turbo build. You know, valve train stuff. You gotta make sure to get good stuff these days. You don't want it to chew up the inside of your engine. But you know, Maybe a set of cheap carbon fiber look-alike valve covers. Yeah, we get it. You're just trying to do what you can to save a buck. We don't blame you. You go on the website, whatever website it be, whether it be ours or somebody else's, you click in the corner and what do you do? Sort by price, low to high. It's all right. Don't feel guilty, we do it too. So we get it. The problem is, unfortunately, there's been some kind of lower end websites and some other places like eBay and Amazon. It's not directly their fault, but unfortunately, a lot of counterfeit parts are being sold these days. A lot of stuff that's not being honest about the real representation of where these parts are made or where they come from or even what brand they are. Now, we know that you guys want to save a buck, but there's some areas you need to make sure that even if you're going to go inexpensive, you don't go cheap in a knockoff. Some of this stuff can break and ruin an engine. We have seen failed valve springs that ended up being a counterfeit piece that ruined a cylinder head or even worse, an engine. Remember when there was an LS7 lifter shortage for a long time? These lifters were used for DOD deletes all the way up to performance street builds. And believe me, when they started running short on these and we were going months and months without them, some of y'all had to resort to buying some cheap ones online and we get it. Not only are you on a budget, some of y'all couldn't afford to have your project not running for that long, or in the case of a DOD, you couldn't have your truck down for that long. You used it for work or just, just to run around town because you, we have to live life. And we understand, but some of y'all bought some $80 lifters on Amazon or eBay, and man, we have seen some horrific videos of the lobes of a camshaft chewed up because the roller failed on some of these cheap ones. And the thing is, that's the problem. We know that there are some places out there that do say, that they're off brand. They are honest about what they are. They are from overseas. And let's be clear here, we are not here to bash any overseas manufacturing. Over the past decade, they've actually picked up quality quite a bit. So that's not what we're here to do. We're here to talk about sellers and websites that are selling you the off brand knockoff pieces, but they're calling them true GM parts when they're not, or true pack valve springs when they're not, or a really high quality camshaft when actually it's made out of some real cheap iron that'll wipe out in just a matter of miles, and that's not good. These internal parts, if they go wrong, it'll ruin an engine. And even if it's a $500 junkyard engine, you have to go through all that trouble and money to pull that thing back out, tear it down and find out what went wrong. Most of the time you gotta replace it, buy all those parts again. So, Dane says it best, buy once, cry once. Meaning, get it right the first time, so the only thing that hurts is just maybe a little bit of price in the upfront, so you never have to mess with it again. And like I said, this is not to specifically attack any brands. We sell GM factory parts here. We also sell aftermarket brands. We also know of places that sell off-branded parts, and there's nothing wrong with that as long as they're up to the quality. These are the places that are selling off-brand parts and lying to you about it. And that's a big deal. So be careful when you're out there. Be a little vigilant. Take an extra minute to maybe do a little research and realize that even though it says pack 1218s, they don't come in this box. They come in just a random box. Also, be wary of the price. Contrary to popular belief, you know, a $275 set of lifters does not cost us 50 bucks. So when you see a set of lifters for less than $100 and the true GM ones are almost 300, maybe take a moment to think, man, is there really that much markup in parts these days? I'll, I'll tell you there really isn't. Markup varies wildly, but it isn't that high. So you have to kind of also worry when someone's claiming that they're selling you, you know, one of our camshafts or a GM LS3 camshaft or a popular one, of course, is the LS9 camshaft and it's $92. Well, you might want to be wary about where that cam came from, what it's made out of, and who machined it, because that can cause real problems inside your engine later on down the road. 
And we did this video just to kind of help warn you guys. Unfortunately, we have a lot of y'all that are real loyal customers. You're great people. You buy parts from us. You're so happy to finally get your swap Chevelle down the road. You finally got the DOD done on that stupid Silverado that was ticking, thank God and all of a sudden it starts ticking again, or you change your oil and it looks like glitter paint. And we know that that hurts. That hurts your pocket, and we know that's a heartbreaker. And we don't like hearing that. You're good customers, you're good people. You don't deserve to be fooled and tricked by other places. So we know you're not gonna buy everything from us here at Scog and Dickey, even though we wish you did, because we only get high quality parts direct from manufacturers. But just be vigilant when you're searching for your parts. Make sure you get good quality stuff so you don't have to tear back into this unless you're going to bigger cam or maybe some big boots down the road. We do appreciate you stopping by for another one of our weekly tech videos. I know this one was slightly unconventional here, but we care about our customers. We know to make you happy, we need to make sure that you stay happy with your engine build. So I appreciate you watching this video. If you could give us a like, subscribe and a share, you know, share it, help your friends, help your hot rodders, just like you and me. And we'll see you next week for another one of our weekly tech videos. Thanks for stopping by.